As you'll notice on this website, there's a port carcass class, and we're going to use this class to illustrate note taking to you on this particular class. So if you notice, if you've already gone through the class, it was placed 4, 3, 1, 2. So as we've talked about before, the first step that we want to do is go through and put our numbers here. The next thing that we want to do is take our topic sentences for each pair. If you notice in the top pair, muscling would have been the biggest difference, but it wasn't a very large difference, so we're going to use a term like advantages to indicate that it was only a small difference between those two. These two carcasses, if you notice, if you remember from the class, were very close in terms of their placing and of their makeup. So another thing that you can do is bring out the fact that it was a close pair. So you can just write close right here, that way indicating to you when you prepare your reasons that you knew it was a close pair so you can bring that out in your reasons. The next thing you want to do again, remember, is that muscling was the biggest thing that placed that pair how it was. So you want to go ahead and put your one and circle the M showing that that was the most important thing in that class. As you take your notes, you'll notice that number four had a more bulging ham, had more turn over the loin, and had a more muscular shoulder. Another thing that four possessed over three was the fact that it had less fat over the clear plate. When you get through looking at this pair, you'll notice that those are the only advantages that four had over three. So then you want to move to your grant side and take the notes on the carcass three, the advantages that he had over four. If you notice, three had a more prominent sirloin, He also possessed a brighter color of lean in the belly. Okay, so once you get done taking those notes, you want to check and make sure that there's no other details that you might have missed um, for these carcasses over one another. If you notice, there's not very many terms separating them in trimness. These two carcasses are very similar in trimness, so we don't want to bring out any differences that really may not be there. But if you do notice again that muscling was the biggest difference in this pair, and again, that's why we have those muscling terms listed first in that paragraph. Once you get all of the notes for your top pair, you want to move to your middle pair. And again, this is the same idea as in the, the top pair. The first thing you want to do is get your topic sentence. In this case, the topic sentence is cutability. The, the most important thing in this, remember, cutability includes trimness and muscling, so you need to differentiate which one had the bigger advantage in this pair over the other. In this case, it was trimness and then muscling. So you can just put a little parenthesis to the side there, indicating that, you know, trimness may be a bigger difference in this pair than muscling, so that you know in which order to bring those out. This pair, if you notice again from the pictures, was also a pretty easy pair. There was really no question in your mind um, about switching this pair. One doesn't have too many advantages over three, and three pretty much dominates the pair. So you can go ahead and put easy in this paragraph, just like you did the close in the top paragraph. So if you list easy there, you know it's an easier pair due to cutability. Then we've already said that trimness was the first, the most important thing, and muscling was number two. You can simply put a two there by the M to illustrate that you want to use muscling second um, in your set of reasons. So the first thing, like we said, trimness was the most important. So we want to go ahead and bring out that it had advantages opposite the first rib, last rib, last lumbar vertebra, over the collar, extending from the belly pocket to the navel edge, and less fat over the clear plate. The second thing you said again was that he did um, possess some advantages in muscling. So you want to go ahead and bring those out. He had a more muscular ham, a plumper sirloin, more turn over the loin,
and a more bulging shoulder. Okay, once you get all of those things decided and you know that those are the only things that three possess advantages over one in, again, you want to move to your grant side. Okay, in this case, one didn't have very many advantages over three. Again, supporting our fact that we have easy here in the topic sentence. The only advantage that one had over three was feathering in the rib cage. One did possess more feathering. So in this pair, you have a lot on one side and not very much on the other side. You have a lot of terms supporting the fact that three is higher cutability um, by quite a bit. So again, you want to put easy there in that pair. Okay, in the bottom paragraph, once you get the terms for your second paragraph, you want to move to the third. In this paragraph, again, we place one over two due to cutability again. Again, it was trimness and muscling that made our decision. Okay, now notice that we didn't put an easy or a percentage statement in this pair because it wasn't that easy. There's really no question that we're going to place one over two, but it's not one of those places you want to bring out easy. One had the advantage opposite the first rib, last rib, last lumbar vertebra, over the collar, the navel edge, and less fat over the clear plate. Again, we want to put our one here and circle our trimness, saying that that's the most important thing that we want to bring out in that paragraph. The second thing we want to do is bring out the fact that the muscling was the next important thing in this paragraph. We can say it had a more bulging ham. A more, or a plumper, excuse me, a plumper sirloin. More turn over the loin. And a more muscular shoulder. Okay, again, these are the terms that support the topic sentence in this paragraph, illustrating that one was higher cutability than two. We move over to our grant and we try to find those things that two had the advantages over one. Two was trimmer um, in the belly pocket and did possess more feathering in the rib cage. Once you complete this paragraph, you want to move down into the bottom paragraph or your last paragraph of your set of reasons. Again, we talked about this is the place that you want to bring out your EST words, the things that really made two go to the bottom of the class. Another thing you want to do, again, is your acknowledgement. You want to bring out something that this carcass possessed the best in out of the rest of them. In this case, two had the most feathering in the rib cage. So you want to put that here. Okay, so you want to illustrate that two did have the most feathering in the rib cage. However, he was the fattest, least muscular carcass in the class. So you want to put that first. The next thing you want to do is list all the terms in which two was the fattest and the least muscular. Again, we've already said that he was the fattest, so those are the terms that we want to bring out first. He had the most fat opposite the first rib, the last rib, the last lumbar vertebra, the collar, the navel edge, and the clear plate. Two was also the least muscular in the fact that he had the least muscular ham, sirloin, loin, and shoulder. So we want to go ahead and bring all of those things out. And then again, you want to use your percentage statement to tie it all in together. And you want to use the lowest percentage of the four lean cuts. Again, a term that's specific only to pork. I place the pork carcass class 4312. In a close pair, I place four over three due to advantages in muscling, as evidenced by a more bulging ham, more turn over the loin, and a more muscular shoulder. Additionally, four possessed less fat over the clear plate. I grant that three had a more prominent sirloin and a brighter color of lean in the belly. 
In my middle pair, I easily placed three over one as three was a higher cutability carcass that would yield a higher percentage of the four lean cuts. Three possessed less fat opposite the first rib, last rib, last lumbar vertebra, over the collar, extending from the belly pocket to the navel edge, and over the clear plate. Additionally, three had a more muscular ham, a plumper sirloin, more turn over the loin, and a more bulging shoulder. I grant that one possessed more feathering in the rib cage. In my bottom pair, I placed one over two as one was a trimmer, more muscular, higher cutability carcass. One possessed less fat opposite the first rib, last rib, last lumbar vertebra, over the collar, along the navel edge, and over the clear plate. Additionally, one had a more bulging ham, a thicker loin, a plumper sirloin, and a more muscular shoulder. Acknowledging that two had the most feathering in the rib cage, I nonetheless placed two last as two was the fattest, least muscular carcass. Two possessed the most fat opposite the first rib, last rib, last lumbar vertebra, over the collar, along the navel edge, and over the clear plate. Additionally, two had the least muscular ham, sirloin, loin, and shoulder. Therefore, two would yield the lowest percentage of the four lean cuts and thus place last.